you look at the calendar, it's the 21st of May and you expect at least a wee bit of sunshine. But it's a bit drich here for the Braidholm Sevens today. But that hasn't stopped the players giving us some great rugby so far. And we've got some great rugby in prospect. And inside, the hospitality was absolutely first class. Yeah, it's a great atmosphere and that's the main thing. You've got rugby supporters, you've got lots of rugby players and the way the teams have mixed as well. It's a, it's a slightly different Sevens tournament and uh, it's, it's really, really good. We're in Scotland so we have to expect weather like this. And you reckon it'll test the skills of the players? It certainly will test the skills of the players. Dry weather makes it too easy for them so, so why not give them a wee bit of wet and rain and let's see how good their handling skills are. My goodness, it's not only their handling skills, it's their survival skills. Ah dear, not the best of weather for Simmons, but this Leicester Tigers Academy side against the Glasgow Titans, very useful looking outfit. And Alex Forsyth here stepping out a couple of tackles. Number 10, Will Hurrell, stopped by Rangi Jarisovic. He not only put in all the work to organise this tournament, he's putting in the tackles as well. And Steve McCauley stepping out of the tackle and in under the posts, the interested onlookers inside their nice dry tent, the team from Adrossen. Glasgow Titans restarting. The Titans side uh, an invitation outfit for GHA, who of course playing on their own ground here. And very, very difficult against a, a powerful Leicester side. And the Titans finding themselves going backwards on the back foot. Then all of a sudden, a wee jink, a wee shimmy, and Dominic Dunn is off. Only one man in front of him, and he goes straight through Steve McCauley's tackle. Heading for the line, is he going to get there? Yes! Over for a try. Titans are on the board. And Dominic Dunn will be pleased with that one, I'll tell you. But Leicester keeping up the pressure well ahead, going into the final stages of the game. Titans trying to break out their 22, but Leicester putting them under pressure again, nicking that one back, and the ball swung out wide. Jeremiah Paul looking as though he might get there, held up. Alex Lewington on his shoulder, try number six for Leicester. They are through to the final. And good business in the burger tent. Aye, a hot burger is what's needed on a day like this, I'll tell you. And in the other semi-final, Cairn up against Hawks. This is a very, very good look at Hawks side. And number nine, Sean Murray, throwing up a couple of tackles. No more cover. And in under the posts for Hawks second try. Boom. That's the try. That's the restart. And Cairn looking as though they might do a wee bit of damage here. A combination of boys from Falkirk and a very, very powerful Fijian couple. And they've all popped up there. And that's Cairn, first try of the first half. Hawks, a lot of possession, a lot of territory, running it from well inside their own 22. And as Craig Gossman setting it up, and I tell you what, they're getting some great handling considering the conditions. And Sean Murray scampering away again, in for Hawks, fourth try and through to the final to meet Leicester. And it tells you something about the conditions that are selling more coffee than beer. And now we're into the open final. Ardrosanakis against the Bow Rams. The Bow Rams made up of players from Megatland and Hartree Mill. You can tell the ones from Hartree Mill, they're the bigger players. The ones from Boroughmuir are the weird ones. And the Bow Rams on the board early on. We're into the second half. Ardrossan hitting back, and it's amazing some of the handling, given the conditions. And the man putting real pace in the ball here is skipper Matty Grant. Robert Hunter in support, and nothing's going to stop him on the way to the line. And Ardrossan, only one try adrift, but 
In the final minute, the ball rams again, pinching that line out, and over for try number four. And the ball rams win the open competition four tries to one. And the looks on the Adrosan boys' faces just match the weather. Well, there's somebody still smiling, but hey, he's dry and warm in his tent. So it's not dry and warm outside for the elite final. It's still pretty miserable, but that doesn't stop an impressive looking Leicester side. Taking on Hawks and first try run in there by skipper Andy Forsyth. Just shows how professional this Leicester Tigers Academy side is. So to the skin in their first few games of chain strips. Nice, clean, dry, blue strips for the final. And Alex Lewington in for try number two. Hawks weren't going to be denied though. Peter Dirisovic finding Tom Priest outside him. Priest to Craig Gossman. Gossman almost through, pops it back inside to Priest. Priest over in the corner to get Hawks on the board. It's a very, very powerful Leicester side though and Forsyth working that one out and the ball comes to George Oliver shrugs off a tackle and in for the try Jarisovic out to Gossman Gossman tackled there Tom Priest throwing down and Jarisovic scampering away down the right wing the cover's coming across he knows you're going to be tackled flips it back a long way and whoa Hey, this is sevens as it should be played. Now Leicester giving the ball plenty of air. Hurl again. A lot happens around this Leicester number 10. And finally the ball finding Andy Forsyth. We shimmy and off he goes. And oh, got a sniff for the line and he's off. Being pursued there by Craig Gossman. Gossman hauling him down short but... Forsyth getting the try and Gossman injuring himself and out for the rest of the game. Into the second half, Leicester well ahead now and pretty comfortable on the ball and Alex Lewington going around on the outside and as he dives over, you can see that water coming up shows just how bad the rain has been here at Braidholm all afternoon. And Hurrell again with support out to Lewington and the man who only wants to be known as Cookie up to Lewington and straight through the middle of the Hawks defence plenty of support Hurl there Jake Albon and finally Joe Clues the man who adds the finishing touch in the corner Lester <laughs> They were going to go right to the very end. Forsyth tidying that one up. Again, sensing a wee gap. And he goes through. Where he got support? Yes, he does. And the man over for the last try of the afternoon. Jervaya Poe. Over goes the conversion. Leicester win the Braid Home Sevens. Handshakes all round. And I'll tell you what, those players will be delighted to get into the shower. Andy, a miserable afternoon, but worth the trip up to Glasgow. Definitely, yeah, it's been raining, but to be fair, all the stand from all the teams has been really good, so well, just happy to, win. Cheers, happy to win that final game then. It was good. The uh, Glasgow put a good side out, kept us going all the way through, so yeah, it was good to get that win at the end. Yep. And uh, Hawks made a bit of a game of it in the, in the final there. You had to work quite hard sometimes. Definitely, yeah, they were a good side. Like We knew that coming in, like, we played them in the groups. That was a tough game, so it was, like I said, it was just good to uh, beat him in the end again, which was nice. The intrepid SRTV team squelch off the field. Leicester and Hawks bring the afternoon to a close. An afternoon that has been very unkind with the weather. But congratulations to Rangi Jarisovic and his team for putting together a great tournament. This is Ron Evans for Scottish Rugby Television at the Braidholm Sevens.